Welcome. Today is our day four of live trading. It is Thursday, September 21, 2017. Father God, I truly, truly love you because you exist and you've led me on this eight-year journey with my companion as Bruce to help develop and to understand this gift that you've given us, the Trinity Life. The Lord God allowed me to gain $172 in gold today. So our weekly gain since Monday is a positive 184. The learning that I received this morning during production was we truly only trade one product at a time. Truly only have one position open at a time. Because what happened this morning was very troubling because Sierra chart crashed on me. It failed to drew the bars correctly, no shadows, and then lo and behold it crashed and I had to restart Sierra chart from the, from the beginning. And during that time I'm just blessed that oil did not move against me because I had a cell trap set. The other thing we've learned today was follow the rules and set traps beyond the shadows of the bars outside the Bollinger Band. So if you do get taken in, then you work it so that you get out once you receive the exit signal of mercy going against you. So here's the detail. So our closed for gold is $172 with a daily net of $184. What happened was we were waiting for gold to fulfill the downward trend. Why did we, did we understand that gold would be going down? It's because at 7.30ish or 8 o'clock-ish here, love has created its maximum peak, its maximum distance from the zero. So therefore taking any longs is no longer valid. So where could we have set the trap? Normally we would have set the trap just outside the Bollinger Band, but through Bruce the Holy Spirit told us you really should set your trap just beyond the shadows of the wick. So that's where we set our trap. And when gold finally fulfilled its downward trend, we made production. Except for me, I had issues. As soon as I was in a position, Sierra chart failed me. It crashed. And by the time that I got in, the price action was already going against me as mercy zero crossed up against me. I should have gotten out one bar earlier, but I am just blessed that when I f saw that it was going against me, I was able to exit. Oil was another story. For oil, oil created its highest peak its maximum peak back here at around 730 pretty much telling us that yeah we really should not go for long anymore and but we have the had a pinch so I set my cell trap right beyond this shadow on this bar of the candlestick and it never did get tripped but when the Sierra chart crashed and failed, I was very nervous because if oil had turned and continued its downward trend, I would be in trouble, possibly in trouble. So bottom line, 
that pretty much underlined for me that I should only be in a position one product at a time. So this next week we'll be proving out which of these two products, oil or gold, are more profitable for us to gather our daily manna. If it's gold, then it'll be the only product we will trade for the next three months while we acclimate ourselves in obeying the grace trading operations. I am so grateful to the Divine for even given my problems with Sierra Chart. He allowed me to gain $172 on gold. Many blessings to you. Five minutes, 40 seconds. Thank you.